Good morning, family. I'm coming back in another video. This is actually um, going to be part two of uh, the video I made in reference to the woman um, who was travailing in pain. About two days later, um, I actually had another dream and um, I was in a delivery room watching um, what was actually taking place. I didn't see the child born, but, um, but I was actually in the room when they um, actually was over the child. It was a lot of doctors and nurses were surrounding the child. It did not appear to be a panic mode as if the child was sick. It was like this child was special. I want to say it put me in the mind of like, like royalty. It, it, it was so um, profound. The feeling I, you know, had and I know the uh I didn't see the woman laying on the uh, delivery table but by this point in time you know as I you know came into the dream is that they already pulled the baby away um from you know from the mother and had the baby in its you know little um table like so the child was was actually born and when i uh woke up i you know kind of like was shocked because it it kind of connect with i want to say the dream that i had some days prior about the woman that i saw who was um naked in front of me from head to, to, to the head to her feet and um, she was you know kind of sitting up um, with one knee up and I could actually see it was like a crowning uh, where I saw her you know private area where so I wanted to come on and um, share this with you and also um, uh, there's a young lady who she makes video all the time and she lines it up on charts. So I'm going to play a little bit of hers. I, I will do as the almighty lead me to do, but for all, you know, my understanding, I know it goes with revelation 12 and, um, of, of the man child, the man child is, is born. The man child is like, of course, what came to, you know, to, to my mind and, and, um, just basically saying that, that it's now time, like if it was leading into the tribulation, um, you know, let, <clears throat> let me know or wanting to let us know that, um, the baby is here and I'm not sure if the almighty is going to give me anything else with it. I haven't had any other dreams um, since that regarding to this. Um, so it's, it's, it's pretty profound, you all. And so I'm going to play this part, but I just also want to add before I go further is that I was um, on this uh, YouTube Hebrew Brothers page. They're ones um, that I'm led to go to from time to time and and um, powerful anointed brothers um, breaking down the scriptures. And I don't know their names, but I know the name of the page is called. Oh, my goodness. Um, it's honor and humility, I want to say. Honor and humility. And one time um, the Almighty had sent me to the page and um he was a Hebrew brother that was on there. And I don't know if those two are brothers, um, but others do come on and, you know, chat with them and, you know, read scriptures and um, whatnot. But the Almighty sent me to 
his page. He told me to go on YouTube and count four videos down. And, um, the one that I could only describe, he had, he had dreads and, um, he also do a lot with like natural healing. So you all probably know who I'm speaking of, and I'm sorry, I'm happy to get my Hebrew brother's name, but he was teaching on that video, four videos down. He was teaching on that video. He was teaching about the wilderness, powerful. And it was something that I needed to know because what I was going through spiritually in the wilderness. So the almighty sent me there. And then this last video I saw last night, I saw them yesterday also, but this one was, um, I'm not sure what his name, but he is, he is just, just beautiful. I mean, and I know I'm getting off the subject of this, this, um, what I'm actually came on to do, but I was led to say this. So I'm saying it. So he was this one and he is, um, the only way I could describe if you all, you all watch their videos, they have a, a homeschool, but it's uh, where, where they have students that come. So he's the one that does a lot of videos, uh, you know, did a lot of video videos on that. So, um, again, um, yesterday he said a lot of things the day before he said a lot of things that connected because it was like confirmation things that he said, it was the same things that was given to me in all. And that's for another whole video, but on last night, early this morning, when I was watching the video and it was leading, say leading back to Zion, everything is directed back to Zion. We need to be, you know, crying and saying, we're pointing, where's Zion at? Beautiful. Then also what he said was, um, that stuck out even more. So was about us dressing like royalty, dressing like royalty. And the almighty gave me that some three weeks ago on like three different times and I shared the videos. So I'll do a video talking about that and do a little snippet of what he said about it, that he even said he already got his crown. He already ordered his crown. I already got my tiaras. I've been always, I always had my tiaras because I always felt like I was a princess. I always felt like I was a princess. Didn't understand how, you know, it connect to, that I'm an Israelite didn't even know I was an Israelite till, you know, a year or so ago and some months. But what the almighty was given was for us to start dressing like royalty. And one of the things that surfaced was, is it that we supposed to be in the midst of our enemies and all that they will know, um, who we are? I don't, I didn't quite understand it, but he said something similar to it, but he said, when you start dressing, you, you know, um, and what I did just to cut this, well, let me go back. When you start dressing, then you, you know, looking who you are, looking at who you are and who you is. But, um, what it is, what I was going to say earlier was, uh, when it comes down to the dressing, um, I came across a picture on YouTube, some probably the next day was confirmation where it was a slave woman, slave man. And went all the way up to now royalty dressed in an attire. And that was like confirmation to say for me to speak more, you know, own it as well. So that's what I wanted to share about that. But I'll come and do a video about that because that's what I got to. We need to be dressing like royalty. And again, I will talk more on that as well. So this is what I made yesterday on Facebook. And here we go. Therefore, Psalm 19 is telling us that the sun bridegroom comes out of a constellation. Jesus was born out of a virgin, Matthew 1, 23. The constellation Virgo is a virgin. So the Bible is telling us the sun will be born out of Virgo in Psalm 19, 4 and 5, and Matthew 1. The sign described in Revelation 12, 1 through 5 involved the sun in Virgo on October 16, 2012. The sign occurs before the escape of the woman in Revelation 12, verse 6. The woman in verse 6 represents Judea. 
In ancient Judea, the symbol for the famous passage cycle was carved in stone. The word Jerusalem in ancient Hebrew. In the end time, those who escaped are represented as the woman who flies to safety in verse 14. This safe place is where the throne is, where the eagles gather in heaven. Revelation 7, 9 through 17, Luke 17, 37, and Matthew 24, 31. This is New Jerusalem, the holy city in heaven. Revelation 21, 2. The ancient Judaic connection between Jerusalem and the Venus passage cycle seems to refer to New Jerusalem in heaven because of the reference to 144. The wall of the heavenly New Jerusalem is 144 cubits, Revelation 21, 17. And every time Venus passes Earth, it shifts 144 degrees. The New Venus passage cycle started in 2012, the same year that the biblical sign occurred. Some authors believe the Venus passage in 2012 was prophesied in the Egyptian so it text, happened in 2012? which we have seen run parallel to the biblical prophecies. The prophecies in the Egyptian text talk about a cataclysm and a rescue, while also depicting a celestial object in the horns of Taurus, which we can see is the exact place Venus transited the sun in 2012. The sign in Bible prophecy occurred when the sun crossed the birth canal line of Virgo at the exact moment when the moon reached the feet of Virgo while the dragon Saturn was waiting to devour. In 2018, Venus will pass Earth in front of the backdrop of the constellation Virgo. What happened in 2018 the exact date of this passage can be viewed in astronomy software by examining the reflection of the sun on Venus. You can see the reflection goes dark starting on October 22, 2018. This is because the sun is directly behind Venus. This is the exact moment that Venus passes Earth with the sun in the background and Virgo behind the sun. On a close-up, you can see a tiny sliver of reflection of the sun on the right side of Venus which moves up and over to the left side of Venus. They happen to if we also. examine this, we can see it lasts exactly from October 22nd to October 29th. Wow. This is the exact date of ancient Passover as observed in the Southern Hemisphere. It is also the time of ancient Tabernacles in the Northern Hemisphere. But what is more amazing than that, when we view this passage of Venus from the Southern Hemisphere perspective, we can see that Venus is literally passing above the Sun, which means it is passing above Earth. So on the exact dates of ancient Passover in the Southern Hemisphere, Venus, representing Jesus, will pass over the Earth in Virgo. And this is happening at the start of the seventh year from the ancient sign in 2012. So think about it. The ancient Egyptian prophecy says to look at the Venus transit in June of 2012, the transit that starts in the horns of the bull. At the same time, the Bible says to look at the passage of the sun in Virgo in October 2012. Then four passes later, Venus passes Earth when the sun is in Virgo, just before the completion of the cycle, at the start of the seventh year from the sign, just before the pentagram is completed. Could this represent the true time of the Passover, the literal passing over of the celestial object representing Jesus? the time of the escape from Egypt. Is it possible that these ancient writings attributed to Egypt actually came from the same people who escaped from Egypt later, the ones who wrote the biblical texts? Could that explain why both texts 
describe the same future events? Why did they highlight the Venus passage? Why did they say Jesus is Venus and the sun? Does this have something to do with the meeting between Venus and the sun? The actual passage of Venus with the sun in the constellation Virgo at the end of the 70-year prophecy in Jeremiah. The full passage of Venus starts when Venus is at the birth canal line of Virgo on September 1st, 2018, and ends when Venus reaches the feet of Virgo on December 24th, 2018, Christmas Eve. Could this time period from September to December 2018 represent something significant? Something that was prophesied long ago. Only time will tell. For more information about the ancient biblical prophecy fulfillment, you can see the playlist. So she has like the 400 year um, here um, that she has that lined up. She has uh, all of this uh, about the, from the lion head. You have to understand the ones, you know, as far as the, on the head of the, the lion, the bear, and the leopard. And it moves over here where she has a, a 10 would be the UN rural region. Um, and, I mean, she has it laid out as far as her chart. Um, that explains a whole lot. So, now, why the Almighty allow me to see what I see? Uh, I, I mean, I don't have all it in fullness, but I know that it links together for me to have... So you all, sorry about that. So it's buffing. Um, I'm not sure it's going to come back up. But um, I'm just going to stop it there. So um, I don't know why the Almighty gave me, um, allowed me to see a dream. I have never dreamt anything like this. I've heard um, so many other people dreams and I was never one to dream in a way, if I remember in remembering the dream when I woke up, I was always, I knew that I was dreaming, but I couldn't remember. And sometimes I would feel, or, you know, my emotion would tell me how my dream went or when I, you know, would wake up. But, um, to see this is to know it means the significant and she explained it accordingly when that actually happened in the sky, um, in the timing that it did happen. And, how it closed out basically um, this past December. She's, I want to say the 24th. Um, so if anyone have any revelation, welcome to um, definitely share it with me and, um, you know, seeking the almighty for more understanding. Father, in the name of Jesus, that you open um, this path of understanding and revealed and confirmed um, of what you wanted me to understand so I could share with your people in Jesus name. Amen. So you all, um, that's all I have for this video, but, um, I just wanted to come on and share, um, and just let everyone know. I don't know, like I say, everything, I don't proclaim to know everything, but whenever, you know, I'm led to share, I definitely want to be obedient. So take care of family and I will see you in my next video um, when the Almighty leads me. I know I'm led to um, share about royalty, dressing the part. And um, also, um, I will do that sometime soon when he leads me to uh, bring that forth. Take care, family. I love everybody. I just want you to know this. I see my Hebrew brothers and sisters all over in it's like I just want to grab a microphone and to say you all hold up stop let me tell you what I know I can't get to all of them and yesterday I actually had a chance to talk to one who already was willing to hear and he heard about it but he just didn't know a whole lot and I gave him some information and there were others that were standing around me but you know they didn't chime in and like what are you saying you know this that and and the other so it's like you you could only 
um, share as you are led to, but in that time, and, um, we were at a restaurant and he was actually a, a cook <laughs> and he was actually, you know, in, in the, uh, midst where he could have talked just for a bit, but others did come around because they, um, the way how the setting was to get in line for, you know, to get some food. Um, so, uh, I, I just, I'm just like, wow. Um, I just see them all over and not, you know, saying that no one will else will experience what we will experience at our Gentiles in the life who were grafted in. But I could truly say this. I mean, what I've been put in line to do is to bring forth uh, this awakening and share his greatness about this and leading one um, to understand about the covenant and for them to get right with him, you know, in, um, in a sense of um, understanding this truth about salvation and, and what it means and all that. So, I, I, I mean, I love all mankind, but I, I just want to say, my brothers, Hebrew brothers and sisters, uh, just let's pray for one another. Let's um, uplift one another, you know, pray for the awakening, pray for um, the unifying us, pray for the re- restoration of us and um, for us to have our eyes on Zion, on Zion. That That's our final destination where we want have our eyes because America wherever those slave ships went, wherever our people are dispersed at, it's, it's not our home. Our home is the promised land and we all should be aiming and, and to get back there. We've been awakening for a reason and, and it's sad to be awakened and then you miss out for something or, or what. No, let's get it right. Amen. Again, love your family. Take care.